I'm always honest with you. <laughs> um, I have to admit, I get depressed when I uh, read the New York Times, uh, if I listen to Fox News. In fact, I had to write my notes down today. I, I get depressed when I see Fox News and I read the New York Times. And uh, I realize, and, and I'm sure you do too, that this country is in real bad shape, regardless if you're a Republican or a Democrat. Uh, the state of affairs in the United States, it's pitiful. The state of affairs is ungodly. And we're at each other's throats. And the Bible says a house divided will not stand. So from a personal standpoint, I have chosen and I choose to, to look at the state of affairs as a Christian. Or do I? Or do I? So I, I, I do pray about the state of this country, the state of affairs. And before I pray, I, I, I try to examine my conscience. Which, by the way, which I examine my conscience before I pray, but, and the reason is because that's one of the methods God uses to communicate with us. Uh, I ask myself, even before I, I get on this program, uh, how do you pray, Dean? Do you pray through the eyes of a diehard partisan? Do you pray with the eyes of a Democrat? Do you pray with the eyes or with the heart of a Republican? Or do you pray through the eyes of a God-fearing Christian? When I enter God's throne room, which is praying, and I have a nice long list of things that I want him to do for me, <laughs> what am I wearing on my forehead? Am I wearing a sticker that says, this brain has been indoctrinated by Fox News? Or am I wearing a a hat that says, I have been indoctrinated, I have been brainwashed by the New York Times? I don't know. Am I in God's presence as one who has already judged the situation and all I'm doing is, is going to God and asking him for uh, fortifying my position after, uh, uh, after having foregone conclusions? I read something today, and I, I'll, I'll find it later. Oh, let me catch you by surprise. When you pray to God for this country, I hope you do, when you pray to God regarding the state of affairs of this country, do you pray as a Republican? Do you pray as a Democrat? Do you pray as a, as, as a person with a particular position and, and by golly, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are absolutely correct in your thinking and nothing's going to change my mind? Is that the way you pray? Be honest. Are you going to God asking him to, to thump Trump or... or it, it, are you going to to God and saying I hate Trump and I and I never want to see that orange face again, huh? Or are you going to uh, sneak in a request to God and say I want I want to backhand Biden and and I I want to slap him into a nursing home uh, that that's reserved for cranky old men? Is that the way you pray? God loves them, you know. How should you pray for your country? I'm asking that question, and I'd like you to comment on this broadcast. Whose side do you take when you pray? 
who's, uh, what should you pray for? Put it in the comments. I was thinking about this this morning. I'm saying, what would love do? The personification of love was Jesus Christ in the flesh. How would Jesus go to God and pray in the midst of this incredible chasm of political difference that we have in the United States? At this moment in time, I, I, I was thinking about this today, if Jesus were living in the United States, would he be a Republican? Would he be a Democrat? Would he be an Independent? What do you think? I'm going to close this program, and I'm not answering your questions or my questions. I'm asking you to comment. I'm closing this program with a verse, and it's Matthew 6.33. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. Is Jesus a Republican, or is he a Democrat? Let me know in the comments. I love you. I pray for you. God bless you.